Hi, my name is Justin Bastin, and I'm a senior principal engineer here at Dell Technologies. I'm joined with Darren Fernandez, product manager for security for PowerMax, and we're excited here to talk about how PowerMax is the world's most secure mission critical storage. Darren, when working with customers, I'm often asked, what is zero trust and how does it apply to Dell and to PowerMax? Zero trust, zero trust. I hear that everywhere, right, Justin? We hear it all over the place. And what it really means in a very simple way is giving people just the amount of privileges that they require to do their job. And when you do that, you also have a defense in depth strategy. So there's no one size fits all. It's a very layered approach of having security at every layer. Zero trust in terms of PowerMax and Dell, what does that really mean? That means that Dell builds products like PowerMax on secure development life cycles, which are zero trust principles. We do things like vulnerability testing, we do static code analysis, threat modeling, all this early on in the development life cycle. So security is inherent in our products. It's not a bolt on, but it's baked into our process. And the other area where zero trust matters is that Dell has products like PowerMax that deliver capabilities to our customers, such as multi-factor authentication, such as data at rest encryption, that will help customers in this journey of zero trust. So Darren, so we know that PowerMax is the most secure mission critical storage. What are we going to focus on today and talk about storage with regards to PowerMax? Absolutely. That's a really good question, Justin. And one of the things I would like to emphasize in this session is our snapshots. We've got all snapshots in a PowerMax are immutable, which means that they cannot be touched, they cannot be modified. And then we've got those secure snapshots, which cannot be deleted. But why is all this important? Because customers today want 10 minute protection for 48 hours. We've got critical infrastructure companies. We've got major companies that want this level of protection. And then they want hourly snapshots for an entire week. If you do the math, having about 5,000 volumes per array would require that you have greater than 2 million snapshots, just in 2 million snaps. And PowerMax is the only array out there that can do greater than 2 million snapshots to give our customers that 10 minute granularity so they could go back and recover from. And not just 2 million snapshots, PowerMax can do 65 million snapshots. Wow. So that's huge. So, so with 2 million snapshots, a couple questions there. When I was a customer, I would have one backup a day and that's what I was dependent on, right, to recover my data. How are customers going to manage 2 million or 65 million snapshots on their array. That can be a nightmare, right, Justin? It can. Manageability of 65 million snaps. But guess what? One word, automation. We've got a way we can set these policies on applications, and then you just forget about it, and your snapshots get created. And in addition, you've got compliance monitoring to make sure these policies are executed correctly. So if snaps are not being taken, you'll be made aware of that. That's great. So I'm taking snapshots on my array, multiple millions of snapshots, copies of my data. But Darren, now a cyber event occurs. Mm -hmm. And now I have to do something with the data that I've been snapping. What are customers expected to do once a cyber event occurs? Yeah. So one of the things we've been learning is when you have a cyber event, your primary site is under forensic lockdown, which means that this array, Justin of yours, you cannot touch, you cannot recover. So what are you going to do? Wouldn't it be nice if you had another PowerMax sitting somewhere in an environment that was not under forensic lockdown? And why would it not be under forensic lockdown, Justin? Because it's not exposed to the external network, right? So the, the, the authorities that come in, you know, whether it's the FBI, whether it's the insurance companies, they're going to allow you to use your PowerMax, which is sitting in this isolated environment because it is not exposed to the ransomware attack. And what our customers are doing today is that they are using the copy in the vault, which is populated once a day. So you have a production array 
populating this vault once a day. And all controls can only be managed from within the vault, right? Now, why, what would a customer do once the copy is in the vault, right? They could do multiple things. They can do forensics. They can do surgical recovery. And what we are hearing now is customers can do a full recovery to their DR site where they have a power max. So now, as you mentioned, you've got a cyber attack. Your primary site is under lockdown, but you've got copies you can look at and you can restore it either surgically or you can restore it to your DR site. You know, Darren, that's great. For mainframe customers, we have cyber protection automation for Z systems called ZCPA. So now that we've talked about PowerMax CyberVault and ZCPA, can you tell me a little bit, how do I recover or know what data I need to recover once I see a cyber event on my IT infrastructure? That's a big challenge, right, Justin? Imagine if we had something to tell customers something's going on with the array. So what we are introducing with this release is anomaly detection. PowerMax, with its vast information, can sample IOs and can actually tell you if a track that was written as reducible has now been rewritten as unreducible. And it can also look at IO patterns and look for large reads followed by a lot of sequential writing. So when you have a combination of these factors, we can detect ransomware attacks early on in that cycle. So imagine if we told you, hey, you've got an anomaly at noon on October 30th. You could go back a day and pick a copy in the vault that was prior to that attack. So this is how you're gonna know what copies may not be impacted by the ransomware attack. As some open systems users, can take advantage of that anomaly detection piece. In the mainframe world, we have something called cyber intrusion detection hmm. for Z systems that looks at access rate in order to detect unusual or atypical behavior within a ZOS workloads environment. So Darren, now that we've learned about PowerMax CyberVault, anomaly detection specific to PowerMax, when I walk into a customer site, what is the PowerMax security strategy that I can tell customers? Justin, it's that defense in depth strategy. It's about securing every aspect of your platform. And what PowerMax, when we think about security, we think about it from the supply chain, to the platform, to the operating system, to the data that sits on the platform, to the applications, and then we use AI and machine learning to detect anomalies and monitor what's going on on the environment. That sounds like an amazing strategy end to end for PowerMax. So do we have any external agencies endorsing us? Oh yeah. Actually, the biggest endorsement and something I'm really proud of is that PowerMax is listed on the US government Department of Defense Information Network's approved products list. And really what this means is that PowerMax has met the most stringent requirements required by the US government Department of Defense in order to be deployed for Department of Defense applications. So what more can you ask for? So Darren, that's an amazing endorsement that really tells us why PowerMax is the world's most secure mission critical storage. That really sums up our talk for today. And so my name is Justin Bastin. And my name is Darren Fernandez. And you can rest assured that your most critical data is safe and sound and secure on PowerMax. If you need more information on security and PowerMax, you can visit www.dell.com. Thank you.